guys, I finally did it. I bought myself a new Pro R. <laughs> Everything I say is a lie. <laughs> All right, maybe I didn't buy myself a Pro R. If you saw the last video, we did an install on this machine. We installed some radius rods, but this machine already has a bunch of goodies on it. And we got Andy. Um, he's gonna go over the machine with us. We're gonna ask ask him some questions, and I wouldn't mind taking this thing for a spin when he's not looking. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking <laughs> <suck> motherfucker! <laughs> Knock it off. I'm already in the interior, so we'll just go over it real quick. Uh, he's got some liners in here. We're gonna go over the cage with him in a second. Um, I'm sitting in some Simpson seats. Uh, very nice products. You guys know what we sell on the website. We don't sell Simpson, but I would never not recommend them. They are awesome. Uh, we got some PRP bags in the doors, in the back here for the center uh, console or center rear storage. Um, he's got some, four, I think it's four works, right? Four works for the carbon fiber here on the dash, which looks really really nice overall I love the way these uh, pro R's and pretty much the pro XP's it's very similar uh, the interior setup is very comfortable plenty of room um, I like it and then he's got the Rockford Fosky audio system actually not. it's not no. oh you freaking Mickey Mouse in this huh yeah, it's Polk right now what's that Polk audio I don't even know what that is but we're getting some DS18 cans coming let me start over here we got Andy Hey guys. Uh, cool guy. I've known him for a while now. He's helped me out in the industry with uh, some stuff. We're not going to mention but you can probably tell by the hat. Uh, and he's a great guy. He's got a nice machine here. He's got other nice machines, but those are already older. This is the new hot stuff on the market. The new Pro R 2022. We're going to ask him some questions. Uh, how he bought it. Uh, what accessories he came with it and what he's added to it. So Andy, tell us uh, about your machine. Well, I woke up at 6 a.m. and uh, one of my dealers, uh, my old dealers that I had, my network, uh, had it listed for sale. So I drove to Yuma, Arizona and picked it up. It was already some stuff done to it. Already had the ZRP wheels, the Tanzer DS 35s, had the rugged system installed, had the Rockford Fosgate uh, upgrade. I think it was a stage four kit on it. Um, came with Sandcraft paddles and wheels. Um, came with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, came with a bunch of stuff. Um, but couldn't leave it the way it was. First thing I always do is for me personally, I know the cages on these things are beefed up. They're still not aftermarket. It's still not aftermarket. Yeah, yeah. so it's a, this is a evolution. Um, Power Sports Chromoly cage. First one he did at Opinion Hills. Um, it's all chromoly TIG welded. Um, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. I, you actually sit in the car, they measure you. Uh, they take the car. It's not a jig cage. They build it per car. Um, yeah, so that's very important. I mean, Andy's a bit taller than me. I'm 5'9". How well, tall are you, Andy? 6'2". Uh, 6'2". Six two. Six two, and I think the actual proportions of the cage are... I, I like them. And I'm, you know, it's probably taller for me than it needs to be, but I think it's perfect like that. Yeah, yeah. So ev Evolution uh, Off-Road uh, did the cage. Um, then uh, DRT, uh, boys over there, they got the fender kit out for it. So we did the wider fender kit front and back. That looks good. Um, we also did the, their front bumper. Um, what I really liked about their front bumper is that it actually had the slots for the, the light bar already notched in it. So it made it super easy. Are they like slots? They're for slots. They're not just holes. Not just holes. I like that because a lot yeah. of bumpers just come with holes and you kind of get limited. No, they're slots that I really like that made it easy to get on. Uh, the, the fit was really good. Um, I don't think they're they're not out yet i don't think they're waiting for some more plates the mounting plates to be done but and they're local to us they're in riverside yeah, riverside california so um, i got the assault i want ball design so i got the salt mirrors with the ball design lights and i think the nighthawks we have those on the website by the way all baja design products are on the website yeah got the good stuff got the smaller light bar um that's the s8 i believe uh, yeah i don't remember which one it was i wanted this i wanted the slimmer low more low yeah, profile a little cleaner yeah a little little cleaner look uh four wicks the hood scoop um is that specific to this car? Or is that the one that was already for the Pro XP? I think it's specific for this car. Okay. They, they have two styles. They came out with two different styles. Oh, okay, I think yeah. This is the second one, if I remember okay, right. Okay. Cool. Um, yep. Because uh, you guys that are not aware, this has a CVT on uh, right behind the driver and passenger, and there's ducting that comes to the front here that cools that CVT. So that's why I mentioned that. But yeah, anyways, the seat Simpson belts. Um, fifty-one fifty products here for the dome light. I see. Dome light. Yeah, fifty-one fifty. You got a hook up with those guys, or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might know, if, I know, I know somebody, somebody. You might still there. know some of those guys. Yeah, we actually, and this, this is the thing that I, and I don't know when they'll be formally released yet, but I got the eight-inch rock lights underneath with custom mounts. Um, hey, how come I didn't get any of those, dude? Yeah. They supposed to hook up your boy, man. I didn't know you wanted. Those. You see this guy? I no, thought you like China those, specials. Those are rock lights. No, Kenny, yeah. Kenny Rock Mountain. I don't like Kenny Rock Mountain. <laughs> those are uh, rock lights. I thought you had some that, that were that size that were uh, like chase lights. We do too, but th those are the rock lights, those? the 187s. Okay, okay. So, but the, the cool part about it is light speed fabrication. 
company I own. Um, we actually make custom rock light mounts for factory locations for all the Shameless cars. plug, dude. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. You know, so, you, you want to mount those? Light speed fabrication, they make a uh, rock light mount. So most rock lights come with a generic rubber, but sometimes you need like an actual mount to mount them yeah. clean and they mount, in the fender. So Shows that. The front one's hard to see. But it's where's it actually where's that? It? It's way tucked up in here. You can't even see it. But okay. it's, it's right here. But the, the this mount actually breaks. It's actually this screw right here is holding that mount in. Yeah. It's actually it's but it's right here and it lights up perfectly. So we have them for you know razors, can ams, uh, YXZs, I think uh, talons. Um, so yeah, they're making them for everything. So it makes it really easy to mount your rock lights. So, so since we have Andy on here, we're gonna make sure we leave a link in the description for light speed fabrication. He's come up with a lot of stuff. So that's one thing that's uh, one of his bread and butters is that bracket they make for rock lights. Yeah. Um, in mind, the rear. Yeah, don't mind the wire. They came with the, the fender flares from DRT come with these little oh, amber they come with markers. That? Oh, okay. So we, used to, we put these on last night and we didn't have time to get it wired up yet. But yeah, this is- Are you gonna use those as just regular daytime lights or are you turn I, signals? I, might, I might put a turn signal kit on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I okay. Yeah. I got a quick question for you. You got these, um, was it the S2 lights from Baja Designs out here? Uh -huh. Why do you have one amber, one white? One's a backup light and one's a chase light. Yeah. You have it on flashing? Yeah, on the Switch Pro. Are you running Switch Pros? Oh, yeah, okay, Switch yeah. Pros, yeah. Switch Pros, you guys know how I feel about Switch Pros. Probably the best PDM out there. Oh, uh, yeah, the Switch Pros 8. Also, it's got the rugged radio system. We have the rugged radio system on the website. We're still working on Switch Pros, though. Those guys, yeah. they're eluding us. And I got the new little rugged antenna, the new, the new antenna. Oh, yeah, I, I picked up one of those. Yeah, yeah. You're running uh, the M1, so that's on the business band, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah. That's very clean, too. Did you did you give that to your uh, boy, uh, uh, Evolution, to uh, mount yeah. everything? Or yes. here yes. he has that preset? No, he, he already he did that. I gave it to him. The car had the the stock cage had the axiom mount for it. Oh, okay. So he put that on, and like the my Turbo S, he did the same side of mount with the antenna, with the oh, long antenna. antenna. Yeah, yeah. This is like the only time I'm taller than Andy. <laughs> uh, we got some storage in the back. What do we got? Is that got a factory my, box? AO cooler. My my people at AO cooler take care of me, and then this is the, this is the factory player storage box. I love this thing. It holds so much. Dude, it looks like it fits fine, perfect. In yeah, it holds everything. I got a compressor in here. I got in, impacts. I got my clutch tools. Is that bolted down? Are those? It, it's uh, through the um, lock and ride. Oh, okay. There's four lock and ride points. It's waterproof. So it uh. And then this pack, how's it how's it mounted? Thirty eight. It just I sit it in here for right now. It hasn't moved yet. I keep it stocked up with ice and cold frosty beverages. That's right. So, uh, but yeah, I have, I'm gonna figure that out. Soda pop. Soda pop only. Yeah. <laughs> they have frost, don't they? Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Plurus makes a cooler for here, but I heard it's really small. I haven't seen it in person yet. So if I when I see it in person, if I think it's gonna work, I will swap, switch it. Okay. But for right now, I just do an AO bag. Back and this there. is like a little extra measure to keep it from yeah, coming DRT, out. DRT, a DRT makes yeah. it. Okay. So a couple of DRT products on here. Fender flares, that rear bed, and then the front bumper. Correct. Oh, uh, what other plans do you have on this? Oh, oh, by the way, I got iBox springs on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, iBox, iBox used this car to test out their stage two, uh, the two seat kit. I'm sorry, not stage two, but two seat kit. So that's the iBox springs. Uh, that's from the Sandcraft uh, sway bar linkage. Okay. That's from Sandcraft. Man, it's so long. She said what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Sandcraft uh, did those ones. They do front ones yet. I haven't got them yet. I just I haven't done it yet. But that, they make front ones. I'll do that. Um, I eventually plan on probably changing the arms. Um, they make a billet for the shocks. I don't know what this thing's called. Oh, the clevis yeah, for the shock. The fork. Yeah, they, they make. Who it. makes that? I've seen RPA I, makes that. I, yeah, I think so. We yeah. have it on the website. Let's go. Um, yeah, well, maybe have you ordered that for me? Yeah, I think I think they came out with it already, or so, they're yeah. still developing. Yeah, I don't know. Right. It's very close, though. So. Yeah, I'll probably change that next, and you know. I mean, next. what do these cars really need? They're so beefed up already, you know. Yeah, yeah. We did the radius rods because you know that's always kind of a, a kind of like a, a gray area where they could bend if you were driving like a maniac, which Andy, I'm pretty sure does. Yeah. Uh, the front arms. We've seen a lot of videos where the machines are pretty goddamn strong, and only if you, you know, dive them into the sand like our the guys from Side by Side Block did. Uh, will that happen where well, they they crush the arms but actually the arms look good i think the bar joints busted huh yeah i don't remember now yeah. i don't know we'll, we'll throw a clip in there sorry yeah. side by side blog throw that in yeah so uh but the arms are really beefy um hcr i know is coming out with arms for this yep. uh they have them on that uh demo car not demo car but the car that they have the shop car <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, have a, I have the mustache light from 5150. I haven't put that on yet, so that's you gotta do that. Is that the same one from the Pro XP? Same thing, right? Yeah, same one. Okay. Same mustache light. I haven't done that yet. Any uh, exhaust you're gonna be throwing no, on? I'm gonna wait because I want to turbo this car. That's turbo? Turbo. Who's your uh, go to for turbos? 
That I don't know yet. I've been waiting for several different builders to come out with. I saw Evo's working on something, uh, DNM, LaRue's working on something. I had one out, but I'm I want you to see what kit I like the best. Something reliable too. Something reliable. I'm sure it's gonna make a ton of power, but yeah, this car um, is gonna be. I'm shooting for about 300 to the ground. Um, and I think they could get that easy. Yeah, that should be easy without you know risking anything. You know. Yeah, that should be that should be easy with this motor. I know the slingshots. You could buy kits for 500 plus right now for the slingshot yeah. motor. So and it's a slightly different motor, but it's basically it's, the same architecture. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's sim very similar. So are they upgrading anything to get that kind of power? Or maybe I don't know, but I will do internals. Yeah, okay. I, I'm the type of guy that I like to prevent issues from happening before they happen, like the radius rods. That's code for I got deep pockets. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I've, been, I've been riding long enough to know when I spend all that money to get somewhere and then I get there and I break something stupid like a radius rod and my trip's ruined. Yeah, that's and, one and thing we kind of mentioned that, all the time. That's cheaper than going, you know, going paying gas to Utah. You know, I'm looking at, you know, probably today's time, probably 1500 two grand in a gas alone. Yeah, there, and the simple thing that. can bend and it just ruins your weekend versus just swap it out. Yeah, and, be done with it. And be done with it, exactly. Now I, have, now I have backups too, or I can sell those and get some money back. So yeah, I suck, you know, for real. So. That works out. So, uh, yeah, no, that's the next thing, make thing. While the windshield's coming, that's a powder coat right now. Is that going to have like a diffuser or air in Because yeah. I know a lot of windshields, it kind of makes a uh, dust get in. Do you yeah. have to have like pockets or anything? I'll have I'll have vents in there, and we'll see how the dust is on this car. Um, it depends on the car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it depends on the car. So we'll see how that goes. If not, we'll put a back windshield on there. So figure that out when the time comes. Right. Well, it's looking good so far. I think once the doors are on there, you gonna keep it black? Yeah, it'll be all black. Back in black, dude. Yeah, Fasten your seat belt, please. Whoa, that was good. Did you hear just? Oh. There's nothing much. To, I mean, just the doors, maybe arms and. It's so freaking done, man. Yeah, it's a beast. Yeah. I think you're gonna upgrade the speakers eventually. Yeah, right? yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the system. I'm gonna go with DS18. Have a little can or not? I don't know. I'm waiting for Chase from UV TV Stereo. He's gonna get back to me. But if not, I'll go with DS18. My problem is gonna be with the cans. Is the way the cage is. We and what the problem is my, is my little Chase light. Oh, we mount it. Where they go? And the brackets are welded on, so you're yeah, kind of so we can't limit it on, on what I can do. So. Well, dude, I mean, yeah, but it might be in your way. I have to mount it to this tube and kind of have them, but it's yeah, kind of in your way. Kinda, yeah, so I'm going to see. You want to be able to see out the back. Yeah. You might be able to put them right here, as long as the, the cans aren't too big. Yeah, that's facing right. Facing but then it does block the lights. You're right. Yeah, that's the problem. See what you did? You I put know, the lights I there? I put them in, in the middle more, but I didn't, I yeah. didn't think about it like that. Like my Turbo S, see the light? Yeah, it's it's, it's so, high up, and then the, the pods are lower. Yeah. Yeah, always got to pre-plan what you're doing, because uh, yeah, you'd so. be tricky mounting everything in one mm -hmm. spot. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do a pumper system like you have on this one? Nah. You don't use it? I don't use it. You don't use it really? I use it all the time. I never really use it. Which one do you have? The rugged? Yeah, yeah. It works good. Yeah. I use it on my, on my Yamaha. Oh, you're always leading. That's all. Well, no. The problem is, too, is that uh, out here when we ride, we don't wear helmets. Oh. We're, we're lawbreakers. You're one of those, You're one of those, yeah, huh? one of those you know. You're you freaking know, holding down the uh, law and then you break it the yeah, next day. Exactly. Yeah. We're one of those. Freaking guy. Yeah, I, don't, I don't wear helmets. Be responsible. If you know you're gonna be driving hauling ass, then yeah, throw a helmet on. If you know you're gonna be cruising and there's not a lot of people around, then yeah, you probably get away with not wearing a helmet. Yep. But so. always remember, other people can cause an accident, not always you. So. Yeah. And he's not responsible. We yeah, know that. Not responsible, but <laughs> I do not wear them in, in Utah, and Arizona. Has that tail frame wearing helmet? But yeah, for the pumper system, um, I, I don't, um, I don't. We're actually trying to work on a air conditioning system, maybe. What? Yeah. So we. That's all I'll say, but is that another company or is that you? That's me and some people I know. Light speed fabrication, trying to work out yeah, some ACs might, here. Yeah, we might. We're you may or may have not heard of that from us. We're, we're trying to, we have a couple ideas we're going to play with. I can't guarantee it'll ever come out. But. We're going to end it here. Thank you for Andy for letting me uh, video record his machine. Uh, check out Andy at Light Speed Fabrication. Link down below also for his Facebook page. Uh, Light Speed Fabrication and Facebook page, right? Correct. Is there a website for the? Uh, it's coming out soon. It's almost done. So currently on Facebook only. It's Facebook, but website's coming. Eight. All righty. Well, that sounds good. A lot of these products can be found on the website, including the Baja Designs products from LMU TV and a couple of others in there, like PRP. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Again, thanks to Andy. We'll see you later.